everyone. Welcome to my channel, Study at Ease. Today, we're going to study about measures of variation. Now, measures of variation is a concept that comes under statistics. Measures of variation, what is it? It is used to describe the amount of variability or spread in a set of given data. So this is basically used in statistics. Now, before going detailed into how to do a question, we must know some of the key concepts. So here we go. Let's look at the first one, quartiles. So quartiles are values that divide the data sets into four equal parts. So the given data set will be arranged from small to big and it will be divided into four equal parts. The next one, the second one is first quartile. First quartile is a median of the data values less than the median. So the entire set, the entire set will have a median and the data values, the median of the data values less than the median is called as the first quartile. The third quartile, the median of the data values greater than the median. The interquartile range or the IQR. It is the difference between the first quartile and the third quartile of the data set. The fifth one is a range. It is a difference between the greatest and the least data values. Now let's try a question and understand these terms better. The question says, find the measures of variation of the given data. And I have written some numbers like 113. 48, 80, 40, 13, and 2. So what is the step 1? Arrange the number from least to greatest. That is an ascending order. So it can be written as 2, 13, 40, 48, 80, and 113. The next step is to find the median of the given data. So it is 2, 13, 40, 48, 80, and 113. Now, how do you find it? You will see that 40 and 48 comes in the middle. So you will add 40 and 48 divided by 2, you will get 44. So the median of the data is 44. Step 3. We're going to write the data again. I'm going to find the quartiles. That is the first quartile and the third quartile. It is represented by Q1 and Q3 respectively. So I have made the data into two sets. If you see sets of three, three numbers. Now the first quartile is 13 and the third quartile is 80. Step four, it is to find the interquartile range. And how do we find it? It is the difference between the first quartile and the third quartile. So here we write Q3 minus Q1, which is 80 minus 13, which is equal to 67. So the IQR is 67. The last one is the range. Now how to find the range? Let's have a look at the whole data. Now you see that the numbers are arranged from small to big. Now I'm going to circle 113, which is the greatest, and 2, which is the smallest. Now to find the range, we have to take the difference between these two numbers. So range is nothing but the difference between the greatest and the smallest data in a given data set. So in this case, it is going to be 113 minus 2 which is equal to 111. So in this question, the measures of variation that we are finding are the median, which is equal to 44, the first quartile, which is Q1, is equal to 13, the third quartile, which is Q3, is equal to 80, then the interquartile range, or the IQR, which is equal to 67, and finally the range, which is equal to 111. Let us solve another question. It says, find the measures of variation of the given data. 
the numbers are listed like 24, 38, 53, 12, 31, 19, and 26. So the first step is to write the numbers in the ascending order or from greatest to smallest. So we're going to write it in the order 12, 19, 24, 26, 31, 38, and 53. After arranging the numbers from the least to the greatest, that is in the ascending order, we are going to find the median. And how do we find it? One way to do is that start marking the number from the two ends. And as we reach the center, we will find the number. That number will be the median. In this case, as we reach the center, we can see the number 26 is in the middle which means that the median of this given data set is 26. Here I'm writing the numbers again in order to mark the quartiles. So in this case, I'm dividing it onto the either side of the median. Now I'm getting the Q1, which is the first quartile, by taking the center value of the first data set, which is 19. And I'm getting the third quartile, which is Q3, by taking the middle value of the last data set which is 38 so q1 is equal to 19 and q3 is equal to 38 now let us find the interquartile range which is the iqr uh, to find the iqr we just have to subtract uh, q3 and q1 and we find the answer q3 minus q1 which is equal to 38 minus 19 which equals 19 now to find the range, let's go back to the sequence. We can see that the greatest value is 53 and the least value is 12. So range is nothing but the maximum minus the minimum, which is 53 minus 12, which is equal to 41. So in this question, we found that the median is equal to 26, Q1 is equal to 19, Q3 is equal to 38, IQR is equal to 19, and finally the range is equal to 41. So the next topic or the heading that we're going to see is an outlier. So what is an outlier? It is a data value that is much greater than or less than other values in a data set. In order to understand it better, let's do an example and understand how to find the outlier in a given set of data. So the question says that find the outlier of the given data and uh, numbers are given so the first step or the step one is to find the median so in order to find the median we're going to arrange the numbers in the ascending order that is from least to the greatest so it is 23 48 49 55 57 63 and 72 and how do we find the median strike off each number from each side and you will see that in the center you get the number 55 so the median of this given sequence is 55. Step 2. It is to find the first and the third quartile, that is Q1 and Q3. So for that, I'm going to write the set of sequence again, that is 23, 48, 49, 55, 57, 63, and 72. Then I'm going to make two groups from towards the right side and towards the left side of the median. Now from the first data set, we take the middle number, which is 48. And from the second data set, we take the middle number, which is 63. So Q1 is equal to 48 and Q3 is equal to 63. Now the next step is to find the interquartile range. So in order to find the interquartile range, Step three is to find the interquartile range or the IQR, which is equal to Q3 minus Q1. So here Q3 is 63 and Q1 is 48. So 63 minus 48 will give us 15. Now the step, step four, it is to multiply the IQR, which is the interquartile range by 1.5. Here we got the IQR as 15, so 15 multiplied by 1.5, which will be equal to 22.5. Step 5. 
Now step 5 is very important because we are going to find two values and based on which we are going to find the outliers in the given sequence. So you should be very careful when you are doing this step. Now I am going to explain you how to do it. Now first value you are going to find by subtracting the 22.5 that you found from Q1. So we are going to do it like, so we are going to write Q1 minus 22.5 which is equal to Q1 we found it earlier as 48. So 48 minus 22.5 which is equal to 25.5. Now the next value we are going to find by adding 22.5 to the third quartile. So Q3 plus 22.5 which is equal to 63 plus 22.5 which is equal to 85.5. In order to find uh, the outlier, I'm going to write the data sequence again. That is 23, 48, 49, 55, 57, 63 and 72. Now, the outlier should be a value which is less than 25.5 and greater than 85.5. Now, if you look at this data sequence, you can see that all the numbers are in between the range 25.5 and 85.5, except for 23, which is less than 25.5. Hence, we can conclude that the outlier is 23. So that's the end of today's lessons. Uh, if you like my classes, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next class.